हेलो एवरीवन एज वी ऑल नो क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन द बेसिक फॉर्मूला इज ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो टुडे लेट अस डिस्कस समथिंग मोर रिलेटेड टू दिस इन आर लेसन क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशंस डेफिनेशन इन मैथमेटिक्स अ क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन इज अ पॉलिनोमियल इक्वेशन ऑफ द सेकेंड डिग्री The general form is a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero, where x represents a variable or an unknown, and a b and c are constants, with a not equal to zero. If a is equal to zero, the equation is a linear equation. The constants a, b, and c are called respectively the quadratic coefficient, the linear coefficient, and the constant term or free term. Now let us say quadratic and roots. Quadratic, a polynomial of degree two. Y is equal to a x square. Plus b x plus c. A x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero is a quadratic equation where a is not equal to zero. Here is an example. Five x square minus three x plus three is equal to zero. The x square makes it quadratic. The name quadratic comes from Quad meaning square, because the variable gets squared, like x square. It is called an equation of degree two because of the two on the x. Example of quadratic equation. First one, two x square plus five x plus three is equal to zero. In this one, a is equal to two. B is equal to five and C is equal to three. Second one, x square minus three x is equal to zero. This one is a little more tricky. Where is A? In fact, A is equal to one, as we don't usually write one x square. B is equal to minus three, and where is C? Well, c is equal to zero, so is not shown. This one is not a quadratic equation. Five x minus three is equal to zero because it is missing x square. In other words, a is equal to zero, and that means it can't be quadratic. Now let us see how to solve it. There are three ways to find the solutions. First one, we can factor the quadratic. That is, find what to multiply to make the quadratic equation. Second, we can complete the square. Or the third one, we can use the special quadratic formula. That is, x is equal to minus b plus or minus in the root square b square minus four ac. The whole thing divided by two a. Thus, a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero has two roots, alpha and beta, given by alpha is equal to minus b plus the whole root b square minus four a c upon two a, and beta is equal to minus b minus the whole root b square minus four a c. Divided by two a. The next one is discriminant. The expression b square minus four ac in the formula. It is called the discriminant because it can discriminate between the possible types of answer. It can be denoted by d. When b square minus four ac d is positive, you get Two real solutions. When it is zero, you get just one real solution. Both answers are the same. 
next one when it is negative you get two complex solutions if the value of t is more than zero the nature of roots is real and unequal the roots is equal to minus p plus or minus the root d close the bracket divided by 2a if t is equal to 0 the nature of roots is real and equal each root is equal to minus p divided by 2a and if the t is less than 0 the nature of roots is no real roots and the roots is equal to none now let us see using the quadratic formula just put the values of a b and c into the quadratic formula and do the calculation solve 5 x square plus 6 x plus 1 is equal to 0 the coefficients are a is equal to 5 b is equal to 6 and c is equal to 1 the quadratic formula is equal to x is equal to in the bracket minus p plus or minus the whole root in the bracket b square minus 4ac close the bracket divided by 2a so x is equal to in the bracket minus 6 plus or minus the whole root in the bracket 6 square minus 4 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 1 close the bracket the whole thing divided by 2 multiplied by 5 so solve x is equal to in the bracket minus 6 plus or minus the whole root 36 minus 20 close the bracket the whole thing divided by 10 so x is equal to in the bracket minus 6 plus or minus root 16 divided by 10 so x is equal to minus 6 plus or minus 4 divided by 10 so x is equal to minus 0 0.2 or minus 1 so the answer is equal to x is equal to minus 0 0.2 or x is equal to minus 1 check minus 0 0.2 so we substitute is equal to 5 multiplied by in the bracket minus 0 0.2 square plus 6 multiplied by minus 0 0.2 plus 1 we get 5 multiplied by 0 0.04 plus 6 multiplied by minus 0 0.2 plus 1 which is equal to 0 0.2 minus 1.2 plus 1 which is is equal to 0 check minus 1 which is is equal to 5 multiplied by minus 1 square plus 6 multiplied by minus 1 plus 1 which is is equal to 5 multiplied by 1 plus 6 multiplied by in the bracket minus 1 plus 1 which is is equal to 5 minus 6 plus 1 which is is equal to 0 now let us see completing the square solving general quadratic equations by completing the square Completing the square is the where we take a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 and turn it into a in the bracket x plus t square plus e is equal to 0. We can use that idea to solve a quadratic equation that is to find where it is equal to 0. But a general quadratic equation can have a coefficient of a in front of x square. But that is easy to deal with. Just divide the whole equation by a first and then carry on. Let us see the steps. Now we can solve quadratic equation in 5 steps. Step 1. Divide all terms by a. The coefficient of x square. Step 2. Move the number term C by A 
to the right side of the equation. Step 3. Complete the square on the left side of the equation and balance this by adding the same value to the right side of the equation. Step 4. Take the square root on both the sides of the equation. Step 5. Add or subtract the number that remains on the left side of the equation to find x. Example Solve x square plus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. Step 1 can be skipped in this example since the coefficient of x square is 1. Step 2. Move the number term to the right side of the equation. x square plus 4x is equal to minus 1. Complete the square on the left side of the equation and balance this by adding the same number to the right side of the equation. x square plus 4x plus 4 is equal to minus 1 plus 4. We get in the bracket x plus 2 the whole square is equal to 3. Step 4. Take the square root on both the sides of the equation. That is x plus 2 is equal to plus or minus root 3 is equal to plus or minus 1.73. That is close to 2 decimals. Step 5. Subtract 2 from both sides x is equal to plus or minus 1.73 minus 2 which is, is equal to minus 3.73 or minus 0 0.27. So this was all about a lesson quadratic equation. It is very important to learn quadratic equation as quadratic functions are useful in everyday situation especially in business. We can use it to predict supply and demand. We can use quadratic functions to predict future behavior. We can use it to help maximize profits. So learning about it is important. Thank you students.